Hey guys, welcome back to another custom ROM review for Rhythmy Note 8. This time we have the final version of Evolution X ROM. So this is the last build of Android 14 based Evolution X ROM for Rhythmy Note 8. Maybe they will release Android 15 based ROM soon. But still you can get 15 based ROM from Infinity X and also Pixel 8 ROM. Those two are doing pretty well. So as a last build, Evolution X team tried to fix every issue related to this ROM and they are somewhat successful because i have been using this rom for a few days now and the performance is really good and i haven't faced any kind of major issue with the rom so as you can see it is running on android 14 and the evolution x version is 9.5 i did review you evolution x version 9.5 maybe few weeks ago that was not final version it had few issues on this build they fixed all of those issues secret patches from october 1 2024 so if anyone want to stick with android 14 based rom i think evolution x is the best way to go right now i haven't found anything better than this because i did try infinity x that was not really that great so in terms of customization you can go to evolver section and you can get all the customization here actually whatever you like you can do you can change the ui and everything and also one weird thing about evolution x rom is that if you want unlimited storage for your google photos you have to open the component spoofing then you have to turn it on by default is turned off so you have to turn on and also you can do a place to spoof and higher fps in game so if you want a higher fps section in your game like in pubg or or other games you can turn this on but i don't really think it will be that much helpful because this device will not be able to handle those kind of graphic performance so i always keep it as default and in terms of network internet and other things i haven't faced any issue although you might face because as a custom rom uh, you will face some minor issues that's inevitable in terms of battery section the battery is doing pretty well also you do have charging control we can control like schedule it to 80 percent and also customer schedule those things are available and also you can see battery information although i don't really know it is correct or not but it is there and they did remove the control over current flow so that is not available here it used to be here but they removed it sound and vibration pretty good no issue haven't faced anything like that in the display section all the basic features are there tap to work double tap to sleep all those things are available and also if you want aod that is also available you can go to lock screen section and always on display so as you can see here you can schedule or you can set the time so that is also available but i don't think it will be helpful for this device because of ips display it's going to consume a lot of battery in terms of wallpaper and style so all the basic android 14 features are available and also we do have ai wallpaper section and it works a little slow but it works perfectly fine no issue in terms of security we do have both face and fingerprint unlock and i did try fingerprint unlock as you can see it's really fast and also there is no delay to awake the device from sleep like if you keep the device for some time you can find the issue with infinity x rom which is based on android 14 but on this ROM, it is not here and it's working perfectly fine. Rather than that, there is nothing new. All the same features what you get with other ROMs. And you can see the notification panel. One thing I find pretty weird, when you are in light mode, the notification panel is still dark. I don't really know is there any settings to uh, make it light mode or not. But it is in dark even if you keep it in light mode in terms of application as a gfs build this rom did come with play store and few other application i did install like photos youtube and other application just to try out also we got miui camera which is working perfectly fine as always and also you can use gcam here without any kind of issue so miui camera is working and we do have dolby atmos option it used to be here and if we check safety net safety net is passed so you can use bank application without any kind of issue so as you can see here safety net is passed and if we check google play protect certification so that is also passed actually so you will not have any kind of app compatibility issue here so as you can see it is certified so no issue with that and also the gemini is here and one best feature of having evolution x rom right now is that you are getting circle to search feature so if you press and hold here 
so you can circle uh, just like google pixel devices and also samsung devices you can do circle to search and it is pretty fast actually although not really that fast like latest devices but as you know this device is all six years old device and you are getting this feature here that's quite amazing and the rom is perfectly usable i haven't faced any kind of major issue here it is perfectly usable rom and it works flawlessly if you play games in terms of gaming it's pretty decent as you expect from a redmi note 8 device pretty decent gaming uh, i did play call of duty only many of you asked me to do pubg test you can get an idea from this gaming actually and the gaming performance is pretty good overall if you want to stick with android 14 based rom i think this is the best rom to uh, stick with uh, you will not get better rom than this the rom link will be in the description below the flushing process is pretty straightforward uh, i already showed it many time on my previous videos that's all about the final version of evolution x rom for redmi note 8 thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one